and on the, the murdered and missing Indigenous women inquiry, there there is some there seems to be some impatience out there, even from the national chief, uh, from the head of NWAC. They, they they don't quite understand why they don't know what's happening. You know, there's they, there's no website. They don't know who to talk to. What what do you say to them about the fact that they don't see anything uh, happening yet, and they're anxious to get going? I think probably we could have done a better job anticipating this latent period. We talked about that it probably. Because it's not starting from scratch, and there are so many previous reports, the international reports, inquiries here in Canada, that the commissioners need to actually look at the work that's already been done and then develop a work plan. Um, from regional advisory committees to standing up a website to to all of the ways that they, they need to, to go forward is uh, um, is going to take time, but they've, they've got to do it right. And I think what I... Um, Need, I think to say now is that uh, these are terrific people who have real experience. Mm -hmm. um, Justice Buller Bennett, uh, in her trauma-informed way that she ran her court, understanding that people were harmed as children, um, that 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 is very much part of both the victims and the perpetrators. This is a, this is a, I think going to be a very important commission. But I think we, like the National Chief did today, we also have to remind the families that the family liaison units will be stood up, but mainly we've got to get to work on the shelters and the housing and education, racism and sexism and policing, and to me, the most important thing, the overhaul of the child welfare system. Okay, so we'll leave it there. Lots to talk about another time. Thank you, Thanks. Minister. Appreciate Thank it. You.